In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to introduce you to a transition technique known in the film industry as the J-cut. If we were to take a normal transition of one kind or another, let's take this clip of the traffic on a busy street, and then we'll take the second clip of a stream, and normally we have a cut where one track with all the audio and video simply butts up against the second one. When we do a J cut, what happens is we continue the video of the first clip in its entirety, but before we get to the end, we begin hearing the audio of the second clip. I'd like to show you a quick example. And when you look at the example that's about to follow, I want you to be careful as you get to the end of the first clip, you'll begin to hear the audio of the rushing water that's part of the second clip. This is what a J cut does. Now the effect is so subtle that you may see it dozens of times in a film and never even know it's there. But it makes a great audio transition from one clip to another. So here's a quick example. Are you weary of the noise and hassle of the city? We invite you to come to a tour to the country for a change of pace. So how do you accomplish a J-cut in PowerDirector? Well, the first thing you need to do is split audio and video in both tracks. And so I'm going to right click on my second clip and do unlink video and audio. And I'll do the same on the first clip. Now in this case, I'm running into something you probably won't have in your first edit. In my first clip, my audio track is empty. There's nothing there. So I'm going to delete it. And then I'm going to replace it with this traffic jam that I have already. So we will have audio here. In fact, I'm going to split the first clip and delete the segment that doesn't have any audio in it. So now we have two clips side by side as normal. Now there's two ways I can deal with this. The first thing that I need to do, if, if the, the audio in this section here on the second clip is to bleed over into the first clip that means the video of this must overwrite the the video here so what I need to do is trim I'll cl click on the second clip on the video segment and then I'll click on my scissors that will get me into my tool for trimming and I want let's assume I want the overlap to be two seconds so I'm going to take the in position here, and I could use as little as a few frames, but we'll use two full seconds in this case. Type in the number two, and now I have it shortened by two, and we put it in here. Now, I have misaligned the audio and the video. So what I'm going to do is take the audio and drag it back to the video. Now I have two options here. The other option is I can go ahead and cut the uh, audio here or I can move them accordingly. Let's do the first option and we'll show you the second. So if I want to cut the audio here by two seconds I highlight the audio track, click on the scissors and then we see it's 15 seconds 23 frames. I'll change that to 13 seconds and 23 frames. Click on OK and now all I need to do is move the second clip over. And now we have the first clip ending with the video, but the audio is now replaced by the audio of the stream. And then it continues into the second clip. So let me show you another way to do that. We'll control Z out of there. The other thing you can do is you can take the audio of the first clip and you can actually adjust the audio two seconds in I'm holding the control key down and now we'll drag it down and we'll make it less I can add as many marks as I want and then I'm going to move the audio track and over 
and I'll move my video track over. So now, if I give myself a little more room to see what's going on, I have this two second area where the stream is louder and then the audio of the traffic jam tends to fade out. So you can cut it off completely or you can do uh, some editing in the last couple frames. I can click on here, simply go to edit audio and actually go into my wave editor or audio director uh, to do other items with it. So you can either retain the audio and lower the volume or you can go ahead and simply cut it and then begin the audio of the second clip. But this is called a J-cut because if you look at the second clip, it kind of forms a J going down and going to the left, which is useful in defining this kind of video audio transition from one clip to the another in CyberLink PowerDirector.